Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Recolit. I did a quick Google Translate search and found out that it's not Recolit, it's not Recolite, it's not Recola, it's Recolit. Uh, um, so I was saying it wrong the entire time. But, welcome back to Recolit. The game, the pixel art style puzzle game where we have to try and figure out what exactly is going on. I mean, it seems like our character isn't too concerned about what's going on. The characters in the city aren't too concerned about who we are. We kind of just crash landed here and the sky is always dark. Everybody's made of light. We are now at the museum. I just want to figure out what's going on. Wow, it's so big! Do you know what this is? It's the science museum! They even have a planetarium! They've always wanted- I've always wanted to see it! I was getting ready to say that my reading has gotten- has, <laughs> I know how to read, I swear! Wait, you knew that? Don't tell me you've been here before. Oh, I see. Have I? I also don't know what's going on. I don't know. Oh well, then you can show me around. It's so big, I can barely get, I can probably get lost in it. I heard they have interactive exhibits and games and such. Show me all the cool stuff until it's time for the planetarium. <laughs> I can't wait. Come on, let's go. And then she's gonna disappear. Not even gonna walk with me or anything. The girl who had me ride on the train with her to go to the science museum together. The main reason she's here is to see the planetarium. I forgot how to interact with stuff. I forgot how to play. God damn it. Oh, Z to check. A white planter with small white flowers inside. It's the first thing silently welcoming you when you enter this place. I don't want to go in yet. I guess we have to go in. A folder over a folded over map that says what it is where in this building. The pictures inside the mini square rooms promise a lot of fun. Can I check them all out? That's what we're gonna do. Uh, a simple ball with nothing written on it. That was that was with nothing written on it. That was among the lost and found items. Looking closely, you can see some scratches, as if it had been rolling along some paths. See, that's how long it takes me to read this shit. You can see some scratches as if it had been rolling along some paths over and over. What a weird kid. Wait, can you go through that line of dialogue again? Speaking of lost and found. If you find a red board, please bring it here, okay? We're looking for a red board. I'm the one who lost it. What's this guy have to say? What do we got to say about this guy? A somewhat intimidating man working at the science museum's reception. He immediately told me not to touch the exhibits as soon as our eyes met. Also, he seems to have lost some kind of red board. If I find it, I should bring it back to him. Got it, got it. We have maps, we have lost and found. All right. It's kind of dark in here. You guys want to like maybe turn on some lights or something? I don't know. Just a suggestion. A card to collect stamps spread all over the uh, spread all over the museum. A weird mascot character drawn on it is saying that if you collect all the stamps, you will get a nice prize. I'll put that down for now. Oh, I don't want to go home yet. Yet? Come on, aren't you hungry? <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'm only I'm only missing one. <laughs> what? But it's time to go home. Here, blow your nose. Alright. A little girl who's crying a little girl who's crying because she doesn't want to go home yet. Every once in a while her mom has to clean her face from all the tears and snot. She was trying to complete some kind of search. Maybe if I did that for her, she'd stop crying. A plush toy shaped like the museum's mascot, Science Boy. This little guy with 
Uh, it's a cool name and it's adorable wonky eyes can be yours today for $39.99. God damn! A stuffed toy of some kind, hopefully just a plushie, in the shape of what I assume is a fox. It's so cute with its big ears, but the glassy, uh, vacant stare makes it a bit scary. <laughs> just like Funko Pops. You put a coin in it and turn the lever and a toy comes out. But maybe the toy is just an excuse and we can pay to get the turn and we pay to get to turn the lever. That's one way to think about it. I never really thought about it that way. You're not actually turning for the toy. The toy is just a facade. Turning the lever is really what we all came here for. A button that you must only push in case of a fire. It's so big and bright that you really want to push it anyway. But you really, really shouldn't. Very interesting. This place is massive. I, uh, it's going to take me forever to get all the way through this. I want to take my time, though. I want to I want to go through each and every exhibit. I want to try and figure everything out. Find all the examinables, even though I missed that one fucking examinable. I won't forget that. Never going to forget that. It's way too dark up here. The music stopped and everything. It doesn't seem to be any. Okay, all right, I better go back. You don't have to tell me twice. Hey. A display showing a forest, some graphs, animals, and so, and so on. There's a soft voice narrating it, but I can't focus at all on what it's saying. Maybe because this music is just bumping like that. What's wrong with this thing? It won't do anything. It's too dark to see properly. Is it broken or something? On TV, they said this moved and all. I can never trust what the TV says. Well, maybe I'll just go see something else. What am I supposed to do with you? A kid loitering in the museum, looking at how the animal models move. But this room only has skeletons in it, and he looks kind of bored. Maybe he'd go to the next room if something happened there. Got it. Fantastic. So we gotta do... We gotta run some errands for some kids. What? A huge dinosaur? It's called a... A... a Iguanodon? Say, isn't its face a bit weird? Your face is weird, don't judge. How can it even eat with those spikes in its head, in its face? What a huge dinosaur. Ah, oh, look at that. Whoa. Humans travel around the globe. It's a stamp, but I don't have the stamp card for this. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, the girl who had me, uh, nah, nah. she's looking confusedly at the dinosaur skeleton, saying that one of them has a weird face. Could it be that someone put the bones up wrong? What if the right skull was on a different dinosaur? All right, I gotta go back for that stamp card, and then I have to stamp it. And maybe that'll do something for me. I don't know. <laughs> what happens if I press this? Well, only one way to find out. Whoa, what's this? He's so much more fat, <clears throat> so much more fascinated now. A huge fox and a bear came out. Uh, a kid who walked in as soon as the earth exhibit started moving. He feels that something is missing. Time to solve this mystery. There are bears and foxes in the, on the stands. But what goes on the empty stand? Got it. Get my stamp first. I got the dinosaur and fox stamp. Hell yeah. Da -da 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 I'm going to go ahead and set that down. I 
I do want to go up here. All right, there's nothing I can do up here. Got it. Something up here. Never mind, that's just the tail for the stupid dinosaur thingy. Damn it. I think it's dark up here anyway, so even if there was something up there, I wouldn't have been able to grab it. Can we get some lights? Can we turn some damn lights on in here? Uh. Okay. It'd only be pressed in case of emergencies. Maybe we can take the fox and place it on the exhibit with the other animals. It's far-fetched just because this is supposedly a plush, but it couldn't hurt to try, honestly. Because this is the fox exhibit, right? So we would naturally put... It's still missing a piece. Hey! Oh, that's more like it. I thought it was a game where you have to press the right button or something. Whoa, that was there? That came out of nowhere. Wait, so it's like a treasure hunt. Why didn't they tell me sooner? Could it be that this isn't a game? Well, whatever. I'll go check out the next one. This isn't a game, kid. This is real life. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I like. Yeah. We helped him out. Fantastic. The kid who walked from one exhibit to another, he thought that finding the missing fox was some sort of game and off he goes again. Looking for the next opportunity to play. Cool. I'm so glad that I could help. A bone with long, thin spikes growing on, going out of the center. Like a fork. I wonder what it's for. Maybe it's for eating huge spaghetti. Ah, so they are supposed to move. You just... A button that makes something happen in the exhibit next to it. The only way to find out exactly what happens is to push it, which is great, because pushing buttons is fun. Cool. So does this have any significance to my journey? This doesn't go here? Nope. All right. Got it. That was a waste of my time. Oh, hold on. That doesn't belong there. Got it. Okay. Go ahead and put that down. Pick that up. And put that there. Pick that up. Put that there. There we go. Oh, that's what his face looked like. Maybe someone put it on the wrong put it on wrong before. It must be difficult with all these bones. Wouldn't it be funny if they got the hands and feet backwards? No. I don't think that'd be funny at all. I feel like the custodian should be paying attention to their job just a little bit better. She was looking up at the huge, strange dinosaur skeleton with a curious look on her face. That's all you gotta say. That's all you had to say. Got it. Is my stamp card still out here? It is. So I'm gonna pick up the stamp card. I'm gonna go upstairs and presumably, right? Presumably, the last two stamps that I need should be upstairs now that we've unlocked that area. Music? That's where I belong. Yes, sir. Music and stars? Astrology, maybe? Get that astrology stamp. Okay. Make the stars shine in the sky, huh? You can make stars shine on this black wall? That sounds kind of like a planetarium. 
Maybe if you do it just right, it'll turn into a huge starry sky. Well, what gave you that idea, Captain Obvious? God damn! Well, the first thing we need to do is get that stamp. Bop, yes, sir. I got the sound and light stamp. Hey! Hello! Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please respond! Hey! Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do for you? The kid who is speaking into something that looks like a huge par parabolic antenna. His voice is reaching its destination loud and clear, but he hasn't get but he hasn't but he hasn't gotten any answer yet. If only I had something to make noise with, I could answer him. A strange shape a, str a something a something shaped like an apple, but much lighter. It reminds me of when I put apples in a potato salad and it turned out surprisingly good. Don't do that. A something shaped like broccoli, but much lighter. I wonder what broccoli even are. Leaves? Stems? Roots? If you think that broccoli is a fruit, your parents and the education system failed you. A musical instrument that goes clack clack when you snap it closed. Most people still have one the ones they got in grade school at home. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I get what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to take this over to the sound thingy. I'm supposed to clack, clack instead of, hey, right back. Ooh. Nice. Yay, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. <laughs> Hey, person on the other side! Thanks for answering me! See ya! Now I can die in peace! Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> the kid who I spoke to through the antenna, he was probably struggling to come up with something to say, as, I, as was I, and ended up com complimenting me on the clacker's performance. Cute. Oh, the spot hit the hit by the light is shining. Oh, it only lasts for a for a second though. Maybe you need a bigger light. Maybe you need a bigger light. Mm, okay. I'm gonna set that down for now. Might be able to come back to that later. so many stars this reminds me of something mom told me something once she said that there was a lot of stars over our city too it's just that we can't see them do you think that's true it's called light pollution my dear oh I didn't even know there was a third floor or I guess a fourth floor because we're on the third floor well she she. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with that. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to do something with the flashlight. God, I don't know why I was struggling to say flashlight. Whatever though. Uh, we're gonna take that stamp and go get the third one. And I think the girl who was with her mom wanted that stamp uh, to complete to be completed. So I'm gonna finish that. Take that to her. And then hopefully the board and the last person that I need to interact with is also. There's the stamp. There's my last stamp. Give it to me. Give me the stamp. I set that down. A ball full of tiny lightning buzzing around. If you touch it, the lightning gathers up and, I, and it looks like you're shooting it from your fingertips. It's so cool. 
There's only three more items that I need to interact with before I'm all done with the items in the museum. <laughs> Get ready. Oh. It's time to play at who can fill these. You ain't bad. The next one's over there. Okay. I didn't even realize we were doing a thing. Oh, you're messing with the wrong one. Ah, you're messing with the wrong one. Have you been lifting or something? No, I'm just really good at mashing buttons. What? You already did it? You're good for someone who hasn't done this for a while. Try that one next. Are you calling me old? You calling me old, you little shit? I'll have you know I am only 21. This one won't be so easy. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe you don't need to be so rough with it. Maybe? Hold on. Hold on. Ah, there we go. What? I've only managed this one once. Be honest, you're a pro, aren't you? A pro at whatever this is. This is so funny. <laughs> I thought you'd grown pretty tame after all these years. But I guess you're still the same kid. Who am I? What is the significance here? Who are you people? Who are you people? A kid who I spoke to... Oh, wait, no, that's a different kid. The kid who challenged me at powering the three generators. I turned those handles like my life depended on it and somehow managed to win. I think I'm not... I think. I'm not sure what counts as winning, but at least it was fun. There you go. That's all that truly matters at the end of the day. I hope that you guys are still enjoying this game. I, I It's a very fun game, in my opinion. Like, I really... I got the spinning ball and light bulb stamp. Okay. Like, I really enjoy this game. It's very cute and honestly, it's enjoyable. I'm very confused as to what's happening, but I'm pretty sure that's part of the charm of trying to figure out, you know, what this world is, where we came from and whatnot. Little girl, I have a present for you. Ah, you have all the stamps. Oh my, are you sure she can have it? I didn't go through all this trouble for myself. See, the nice young man will give you his stamp card. Aren't you glad? But, but, but I wanted to get to him and myself. Ah, <sighs> then you can have him, then you can give him the card back, right? No, I wanted. Okay. Nice. Easy peasy. A little girl who was crying because she didn't get, she didn't want to go home before getting all the stamps. When I gave her the stamp with all the, the stamps, she was still crying, saying that she wanted to get them her, on her own. But she did end up accepting it. Sorry for robbing you of the fun of the search, little girl. I mean, your mom was going to rob you of the search anyways. So that just leaves the old man. The old man and his board. Red board like a skateboard? Cause that red thing next to this thing right here, this what the fuck is this? What's this supposed to be? There's a hole for a bolt to go into. So it's probably just one part of something big. Okay. I'll take it back down to the man and maybe he has something to do with it. Is that the last item? No, there's a rail and something else. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just go take this down to the man. The receptionist. Mr. Receptionist, I have something for you. Oh, you found it! I can't believe it was so close to me! But it wasn't. You wanna know what that is? Hmm. It's almost closing time and there aren't many visitors. Might as well fix it right now. If you want to know, come to the fourth floor, then you'll see. Okay. A 
somewhat intimidating man. I gave him the thing he'd lost and he hurried toward the stairs saying he had to fix something. I wonder what he went, where he went. Uh, this is, is that, this is that thing that I need to investigate before I go. Is that not the thing? I'm going to be pissed if that's the thing and I can't get it for whatever reason. I don't know why it would do that to me. So I'm going to I'm going to do a quick sweep, make sure that I've found everything and then we can go. So where am I supposed to start fixing? Huh? You mark the spots on the glass. But I can't see anything. Oh, I get it. Now I can see it. Oh, could you stand on that platform over there while you hold that light? Oh, the flashlight. Shine it on the markings of the glass. The flashlight. I know. I know. I know. Oh, the flashlight. It's downstairs. I need the flashlight that's downstairs. I knew. Ah, I knew I needed it for something. I had a feeling, but I wasn't sure. There we go. Is that not it? Oh. Yeah, uh-huh. This part right here. Oh, this is broken too? Good, this should be the last one. Thanks, that was a huge help. We shouldn't be writing on this. But let's close an eye for this once. Huh? There's nothing to roll around this. There's nothing to roll around in this. It's something to, oh. Oh, I know what I need to do. Get down. Drop that. I gotta go back downstairs again to go get that ball that was in the lost and found. I had that on the first floor with me. Jesus. This is a very intriguing game though. I like all the puzzles. The puzzles definitely, they're not too hard, but they're also not too easy. Um, a lot of them, it's like, you know, you do this, but then you also have to backtrack a little bit because there's something else that you needed to interact with. I like that. I, I like the charm of the game. I like, uh, I like how it all comes together and it's very hard for you to actually miss anything. Except for that one. Fuck. All right, let me stop. Hey, where did you find that? What? It was in the lost and found box. Oh, guess it wasn't stolen then really helped me out a lot. I can't thank you enough. Now, this baby can move again. Hell yeah. Sick. Now shed some light on that, uh, shed some light on that thing downstairs. I need the rail and I need this unless there's one in the other room a man who was fixing one of the exhibits it wasn't easy but it's finally working again for a little bit he and I enjoyed the sight of the rolling ball together cute so I guess my biggest question right it's it seems like it's confirmed that we are well known here um, people know of us but my biggest question is why why are we not made of light like everybody else is this is one of those you have to find your way in order to understand who you are kind of stuff i don't know i like the i like the mystery i like the charm i hope that's all of my uh, questions are answered by the end of this but if not no big deal i'm not ready to go yet they said they aren't showing the planetarium today. That's a shame, isn't it? I'm not ready to go. Oh, I see that round building over there. See that round building over there? 
I bet that's where they show all the planets and stars. You know, before moving out, I wanted to see the planetarium once. I always saw it on posters around the town and such. Huh? They also have planetariums in other places? So, maybe they'll have one in the new town too. New town? I wonder. Yeah. I hope they do. I get like zero context. Uh, she looked longingly at the big round building where the planetarium is, except that unfortunately it was closed for the day. There we go. Poles that keep up a rope along which... Poles that keep up a rope along which people line up. But if you don't know... But if you don't know that, it's just a cool decoration. Ooh, it's a Steam Deck! A popular handheld console. Someone must have forgotten it here. Weird for the type of person that would play video games in a museum. Yeah, those are the wackos. Those are the people that can't actually enjoy the... Enjoy the novelty of the museum. I miss going to the museum. I should definitely go check it out sometime. But that is everything within the museum. I literally would have gotten the achievement. There's an achievement for getting all the examinables. And I'm just missing the one. This one thing. You know how upsetting that is? I'm not a completionist. Cap. This is the last room, isn't it? What's this exactly? There are rocks, grass, and yeah, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Oh, look, the earth changed colors. So this is earth at night. It says that from space, it looks like this. It's so pretty. It looks like it's covered in little stars. It's almost like an upside down planetarium, don't you think? Huh? You don't? Um, but I still think it's pretty. Oh, what's that over there? Let's go check it out. Okay. You keep leaving me without giving me any context, <clears throat> like at all. Whoa. Whoa. Science is so amazing. The second biggest planet in the solar system. Most of it is just gas. It's the main feature. It's main feature is the rings that spin around <coughs> like a record made of small particles of ice and such. Saturn. A waxing gibbous moon is caused by the relative positions of Earth and the moon and how the sun only shines on part of it. A waxing gibby moon. Waxing gibby. An automatic rover used to explore Mars, Mars' surface. This is a replica of one of, of the one used in 2019 for studying the planet's us. That's what we've been using to get the lights to go, you know? Look, it's space. This is space suit. Like the one I've got on. It's white and bulky. I bet it's super stuffy. I don't know. Ask me. I've got one on. Space is like far away and big and empty, right? But someone really wore this suit, and they got a real ro real rocket. And they really went to space. That must be so nice. Hmm? Well... Right, Earth, like we saw earlier. I'd look at it from space. I wish I could. And I also want to see the stars from space, and then explore new plants and things. I don't know. I guess it'd be just cool. Is that weird? Oh, for real? Then we should do both. Then we should both do it. 
we should both become astronauts together. And then, we'll see the stars and the Earth lit up by night. Do you think we could? I hope we can. I'm so excited already. I'm so glad we came here. I mean, you kind of brought me here. This is, it wasn't really my choice. Hey, wait! You can actually get pictures with the spacesuit? I borrowed a camera so I can take your picture. And then you can take mine. <laughs> okay, stand behind the suit. I'm already wearing one. Just take a picture of me. Oh, I'm gone. Oh. Um. Okay. Explore the third stage. What? Okay, now we're really getting into it. This is what I was looking for. Is there nothing if I go back? I'll just keep going forward. I think the game just wants me to go forward, and that I shall do. I'll stop being difficult. Welcome back. You found what you'd lost, right? I bought some snacks while I was waiting for you. <laughs> we can eat them together later on. Right. This is where I wanted to go. We'd promised. And I finally got here. Wow. There are so many stars. This reminds me of something. Mom told me something once. She said that there are a lot of stars over our city, too. It's just that we can't see them. What is happening? What the fuck is going on? No, this isn't it. This isn't where I wanted to go. This isn't any good. There's nothing here, just as I thought. Nothing at all. Just like there was everything on that planet. If I stayed, if it stayed lit forever, would you stay here with me forever too? No, no go, give me more answers! I need more answers! I don't think I'm smart enough to piece together what exactly is going on here. The TV remote. Ignition starting engines, five, four, three, Two, one. Today, as part of the the Lassa Moon Exploration Project, the Shalom spacecraft, manned by a team of astronauts, departed from the Mandrake Mandrakia Space Center around 2 a.m. 19 minutes later, the rockets were detached from the ship, marking a successful takeoff. This is the first manned mission to the moon since the Kaima Project of 12, which, if successful, would bring man to the moon's surface for the first time in 52 years. Among the four astronauts of the Shalom Kakimo Kakimoto, uh, who is leaving Earth for the first time, going to space has been a dream of mine since I was a kid, to be honest. It still feels a bit weird for this dream to come true. However, the whole team has been training very hard for this mission. Tomorrow's launch has been rehe rehearsed so many Was our dad one of these astronauts? A device full of tiny people who've always who always seem to be talking. No, I don't think that's how that works.
Right. I still need to finish packing. Look at the time. I have to finish packing before tomorrow. What? What? Nothing down this hall. It's a box for things I want to keep. There's some unused fireworks left inside. I probably wanted to save them for later. But now they're so old, they probably don't even work anymore. I have to decide whether to keep or throw away the other things first. It's a bag for throwing trash away. There's a story on the news about some people I don't know going to space. This bright box is the only one talking in this room right now. Okay. An old ID card I used to ride the train, the bus back in the day. It's so warm, so worn out. You can't read that what's written on it. Maybe I, maybe it's still charged, but they don't take it around these parts. Keep it. A stamp card from the science museum with only one stamp on it. You were supposed to get a nice prize by collecting them all. I wonder what that was. Keep it. An alien themed piggy bank that plays a fun jingle when you put a coin in it. I lost the battery cover and it doesn't have batteries in it anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't make a noise even if I shake it. Keep it. I can't fit anything else. Fuck! Oh, can I take stuff out? Damn it. Okay. So I really got to make some decisions here. Uh, there's some unused fireworks. They probably don't work anymore. So it can only hold up to four items. Well, I want to keep the fireworks because those were the first items that we really got to interact with. Um, so I want to keep those. The ID card. It's worn out. You can't read. It was written on it. Maybe it's still charged. I'll toss it. Stamp card from the Science Museum. We'll toss it. And we're gonna keep this piggy bank. It's a picture, but it wasn't drawn by me. It shows two people smiling while wearing a weird helmet and suit. Looking at it gives me a weird chill, but it also makes me feel warm inside at the same time. What should I do with this? Keep it, duh. Is that even a question? Hmm. What's this? Looks pretty unique, but I don't remember it at all. This doodle. It's from back then. Um. Nah, it's fine like this. What? Like this. Oh! Right. I remembered. There's nothing left. It's empty. Finally here. We lost so much time along the way. Did we keep everyone waiting? Time to go back in the room. Oh, oh, what? No, there's more people. <laughs> there's more people, more items. Jesus, dude. Dude.
And my camera died. Hello, we're back. Oh, hello there. Hi! Welcome back. Did you have fun with the fireworks? We sure did. Right? Says nothing. I'm glad to hear that. I didn't say shit. I don't know what you heard. Good thing I remembered we had those lying around. We already have a few people here, but is that everyone? Actually, we're still missing one. That one. Yeah, that one. Always late. Always. I see. And we'll get the cake once you're all here. Just play while you wait, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sure. Let's go. It's time for hide and seek. You're the seeker. Because you were late. He went off. He's always zooming around. So, want to play with me? The two of us? Oh, sorry. While I was waiting for you two, I started building a castle. That one on the table, see? Wow, that's amazing! I'll play with you when I'm done, okay? Okay. I'll be waiting upstairs then. I can read your books, right? Thanks. I didn't say anything to you. Hold your horses. Aren't you forgetting something? I asked you to help me with the chores before your friends come over, didn't I? Or did you think I wouldn't notice you're nowhere near done? Good, that's the spirit. Get it all done before your last friend comes, got it? Oh, you wanna see the cake? You'll get to see it once you're done with the chores. Okay. I can't go back downstairs? No, no! Damn it! All right, Um. well, I guess we're gonna be splitting this up into three parts. I thought we'd be done after this because there were only three stages that we had to explore. At least the achievement said that there were only three stages. But I mean, who cares? Like, honestly, it feels like it's all starting to come together a little bit more. We clearly do belong in this town, but I don't think that, I think there's some kind of like shift. Like, cause we're in a physical form here. Everybody else is made of light, but at some point we were like a shadow boy. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. We're in a house right now. And it just, I'm, I'm very confused, but I'm also very interested to see what all is going on. I guess, I guess there's like one or two more parts of this. I don't know. We have all of these things to interact with. Uh, all this stuff in the house. And then we have all these people. So I don't know, man. I... If you want to see my last video, which was The Exit 8, I recommend checking that out. It'll be linked somewhere around here. That was fun to play. It was a nice little loop anomaly. Uh, I'm on observation duty style game. If you want to see my last video of Recolit, that will also be linked somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out.